football. America's game. A sport that rewards hard work, sacrifice, dedication, and skill. A sport that challenges you to always get better, to never settle for second place. Because America doesn't root for the timid or the scared, or those who back away from the challenge. We root for the bold, the brave, the risk takers who will push to the very limits to succeed. Because after all, life is more fun when it comes with a little action. Today, two teams take the field. Two teams who have personified what it takes to make it to the top. Two teams who have outlasted their opponents, outsmarted the experts, and are prepared to prove once and for all who is the best of the best. The Kansas City Chiefs, a franchise coming off one of the most thrilling wins in playoff history, with expectations as high as the sky, and the talent to bring them to a third consecutive Super Bowl. Standing in their way, Cincinnati Bengals. A team that has spent the past year proving their critics wrong. A team who continues to shock the world. They are hungry. They're resilient. And they're determined to make this season their season. Two teams coming off heart-pounding wins. Two organizations on the edge of history. Both committed to being the best of the best. The stage is set. It's the Kansas City Chiefs against the Cincinnati Bengals and a dogfight for the AFC Championship. So let's kick the tires and light the fires because the time is now. Has been a stunning revival for the Cincinnati Bengals and their second year hotshot quarterback. Once again, own the AFC. Who will take the conference and head to the Super Bowl next on CBS? Welcome to the AFC Championship game presented by Intuit TurboTax Live. It's a mild January afternoon. Played there. Joe Burrow, he says, I don't care. I'm 6-0 in postseason games dating back to college. I'm good. Ooh. Can you believe it? Four years as a starter, four straight AFC title games. Already up 7-3. And look at this. He's looking like MJD when he goes shopping at the grocery store. Is it aisle four? No. Is it aisle eight? Is it aisle seven? I don't know. He keeps it alive and he hits Travis Kelsey, who scores for the sixth straight game, and it's 14-3. How'd this happen? I, I mean, your guess is as good as mine. It was at this point in the game where I'm like, how do you stop this? How do you stop a quarterback who can do things like this, right? And to create that kind of time for those kind of plays, they, they're cut, their work was cut out for them. And a little shimmy. Next possession, Mahomes to Mecole Hardman. I'll just stick that in there. I'm good. Mahomes ties an NFL record with his 11th touchdown pass in a single postseason. This was huge right before the half. Joe Burrow, Samaj P. Ryan. Listen, missed tackles, Chris. That's what it's all about. Missed tackles, you give this guy some space. Even though he's the second back, he found a way to impact this game, and that's kind of what gave them an opportunity. But, uh-oh, you can't give that man a buck oh five. We know what he does with 13 ticks. Ooh. Look at this, Mahomes to Tyreek Hill. He had 78 yards receiving, none after halftime. Just Woo. put that in your back pocket. Now 13 seconds to go. Remember that number from last week? I do. Mahomes, Tyreek Hill, it's incomplete. However, Eli Apple called for P.I., so we have first and goal at the one. Nine ticks left, no timeouts for that man, Andy Reid. And here's where things got a little squirrely. It's now second and goal, one swings second. it out to Hill. In the, in the field of play, he gets oh. stopped shy. What what was this? Uh, this was a bad decision. They should have threw that in the dirt and kicked the field goal, take the points. This is when doing too much will come back to haunt you. They leave with zero points in the half. So they're up 11 at the break, just like they were in Week 17 in Cincinnati against the Bengals. They do not score in their first drive of the third quarter. It's now 21-13. Mahomes picked up by big fella B.J. Hill. Listen, B.J. Hill, this, look, this whole defensive front has played lights out. Those D tackles, yes. though, Reeder and Hill did a great job job of mm -hmm. handling the middle and getting their hands up when Mahomes is trying to throw the ball. Five plays later, Joe Burrow to his college teammate Ooh. Jamar Chase. He has 279 receiving yards in the postseason, most ever by a rookie. That ain't bad. Two-point conversion to tie it. Trent Taylor just elevated from the practice squad Trent yesterday. Taylor, my guy coming up big off the practice squad. I know what that's like in Cincinnati. So we're tied at 21, heading into the fourth. It's third and six. Burrow did this a couple times. Look at the magician act here. 
Some people would call it a wow. magic act if they could actually speak English. He extends the ball. That's a first down. He got away from Chris Jones, who always lets it all hang out. He's a playmaker. Not just saying that in a cliche way. This guy, I mean, he's going to do whatever it takes to put his team in position, which is what makes him Joe Burrow and why they're on the way to the Super Bowl. Now Burrow on first and five. T. Higgins had a huge game, over 100 great. yards receiving. Gets it inside the 40, inside the 35. And four plays later, the rookie kicker, the only rookie kicker drafted last year, Evan McPherson. He's 11 for 11 in the postseason. Bengals up by three with more than six to go. But here's where things got really interesting. Mahomes on the next drive. Third and one with three and a half to go. Mahomes, Kelsey wide open on this play. Well, look, they're playing zone, and sometimes defenses, they don't they don't rally to the guy or carry to the guy. They run to their zone. And then uh, we, how many times inside the 10 have we seen the Chiefs run that little shovel pass? Kelsey gets the first down. Is Burrow even going to see the ball anymore? Mahomes now. What? You're, go oh, you're no. going the no. wrong way. This isn't I throw it away. Sacked four times in the second half, but here, I, I still can't believe this play this was like him in the super bowl last year they're just just run forward what is going on here you know what chris early on he had kelsey wide open but he didn't see it he was looking to the right and then great timely play there i mean uh, by chuck oh, was it hubbard right yeah, Sam oh, hubbard. he's lucky that joe thuny was there to recover yeah. it yep. so now harrison butker has to kick it from 44 he connected last week from 49 against the bills to force overtime we've got it again so now it's time for what the all-important what? Coin toss. So here, what are we calling, guys? Heads. Tails. Okay, one of you's right, one of you's wrong. Oh, yeah, uh, Josh Allen tweeting uh, out pain. Joe, I feel your pain. The Chiefs get the, the ball first. And on third and ten, Mahomes, is he going to lead him down the field? No, it's our play of the day presented by Geico. Mahomes looking for Tyreek Hill on third and ten. It's a pair of veteran safeties. Jesse Bates tips it. Von Bell picks it. And the Bengals have wow. taken over. Wow, that's a, that's a big play there by Bates to come over the top, not B.I., and bat the ball away. Look at this. That's One of it. the most underrated players in the game sets it up for Bell. And now, next score wins. Burrow, second and eight. It's Higgins again, who had six snags for a bucko three. And McPherson, perfect in the postseason. He's like, yo, bro, we're going to the Super Bowl. Joe Mixon, his first time in the last eight games with more than 70 rushing yards. 21 carries, 88 yards. And yeah, yeah. Chiefs fans and Andy Reid know what's happening. Oh, McPherson, miss. they're kicking it on third down. He was four for four. Mm, this one's for Wes. Money Mac. Third Super Bowl in history for the Bengals. Their first in 33 years. Patrick Mahomes will be watching it in two weeks. The Bengals, four wins a year ago. Yeah, now they're off to L.A.